In this lecture, we are going to understand why do we have this warning when we are trying to render a list in the web page. So why do we have this warning which says each child in a list should have a unique key prop? Well, React has a special concept when it comes to rendering a list of data in the web page. A concept which exists to ensure that React is able to update and render such lists efficiently without performance issues or bugs which may occur. So here, let's first try to understand the reason behind this warning. For that, let's go to this Elements tab. Let me scroll this window a little bit down. So here, we have the div inside which we are displaying the list of products. Okay, so inside this UL element, we have these many list of products. Now, let's go ahead and let's create a new product and just notice what happens to this list when we click on this add product button. So here I'm going to create a new product. Let's provide some description. Let's select this checkbox. And when I click on this add product button, just notice what happens here. So you will notice that this list element has flashed. Okay, so when we added a new product using this add product button, the last element in this list kind of flashed. Just see this one more time. Let's go ahead and let's create another product, maybe Apple iPhone. Let's select a price, product description, and I'm not going to select this checkbox. And just notice what happens to the last element. When I click on this add product button, you will notice that a new element has been added here and it kind of flashed. And if an item flashes like this, that means either it was edited or added by the browser. But it's strange that the last item flashed because here we are adding the new product at the top of the list, right? If I go to VS Code, we are adding this new product at the top of the list. But here, this last list flashed, this last product flashed. So why is that? To understand what's going on, let's expand this first list from here. And here you will notice that it is the, the new product which we have just added. So this first list is actually the new product which we have just added. Now let's go ahead and let's add one more product, maybe test one. Let's select a price, some description. Let's select this checkbox and just notice what happens to this first product. When I click on this add product button here, you will notice that this time this first product flashed and the product name here changed to test one. So what actually happens here is when we add a new product using this form, React renders that new product as the last product, the last item in the list. And then it updates all the item and replaces their content so that it again matches the order of the items in the products array. Okay, so this new product which we just created, first it was added at the end of the list. And then React updated all these lists just to match the order in which we have these products in our products array. Okay, in this array. Uh, basically in this new product list array. And that's why you also noticed this first list to be flashed here. Now, let's say if I expand this list here and if we create a new product, you will notice that this list also flashes. Let's check that. Let's create a test two product here. Okay, and just notice what happens here. When I click on this add product button, you will notice that it flashed and now the name has changed to fresh milk. So basically again, the new product, this test three product which we just created, first it got added at the end of the list. And then React updated all these lists just to match the order in which we have this list in our array, in this new product list array. And this is not okay. This is happening because to react, all these items look similar and it only sees that our product array changed. And hence, it simply renders that additional item in the page inside this, you know, inside this UL element. And it adds that item at the end of the list. And then it simply goes through all the list items here and it update the content inside of every item to match the order of the product array content again. So 
the final result therefore is correct here but from a performance point of view it is not great because here all items are revisited and updated one by one and this could even lead to bugs why because if the product item would be a stateful item and we would have some state inside of that then we could lose that state for example if our item in the product list if it has some state and when we add a new item the old first item would be overwritten with the new first item so if we had any state change in the old first item it will be lost okay so besides potential performance issues we could also run into bugs and that's a problem here so the question now is why does react behaves like this and the answer is because it has no other way it currently simply checks the length of the array and then has a look at the number of items that were already rendered the individual items all look similar to react so it can't know where the new item should be added or anything like that and that's why we are getting this warning now react will not show this warning message if it can uniquely identify each item in the list and we can do that by adding a special props to the list so we are rendering the list inside this product list component here we are rendering the list so to this list here we can add a new attribute called key okay so this key is another prop and to this key we can assign a value which is unique for each list item in this particular list now from where can we get this unique value well if you notice for each product we are specifying a product id so this product id will be unique for each product so we can use this value as the unique value for this key prop now we already have this pid for our existing products which we have inside this product array but we don't have that for the newly created products so this new product so before we add this new product to this array let's also set an id property here for that product so let's say product dot pid and here we want to set this value with the length of this new product list so i will copy this i'll paste it here and here let's say dot length and to that let's also add one so here in this product list we have total six products okay so the the id for the last product is six so when we add a new product the seventh product to this product array its id should be seven so for that we are using the length property which will return six and to that we are adding one when we will add eighth product at that time this length property will return seven and to that we are adding one so the pid for that product will be eight and then we are adding that product to this new product list with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me clear the console here and let's refresh the page and now you will notice that now we don't have that warning message so we have these two warning messages but that warning message related to the key is now gone so when we have added this key prop to this product list item it helps react to identify the individual list items okay so now if we go ahead and add a new product so let's first go to this elements tab okay let me open this div where we are displaying the list okay so now you can see we have the list of products here and now if i create a new product you will not see the first item to be flash here okay let me expand this let's also expand this div so that we can see the name okay here we can see the name so now if we go ahead and create a new product you will not see this first item flash okay when i click on this add product button you will notice that the first item here has not flashed this item did not flash instead a new list item has been created at the top which is this new product uh, i think test one which we have just created so by adding the key props now react knows where to add the new item and it is able to update the list in the more efficient way in short you should always add such a key prop when rendering a list using map function so now i hope it is clear why we should add a key to a list 
and why we have the warning related to the key. Now it is not required to know why as long as you add the key but it's also important that you do understand what's going on behind the scenes and why you are doing something and that's why I wanted to have this lecture where I can explain how you can render a list in react in proper way by avoiding any performance issues or bugs.